Hello, in this tutorial I am going to explain depth of field to you in photography. I'm going to tell you what it is, what causes it and how you can create different depth of field effects in your photography and I'm going to do it in two minutes. Let's go. Hello, I'm Mark Newton from the School of Photography and in this tutorial I'm going to explain to you depth of field in photography and I'm going to try and do it in two minutes. Wish me luck, start the clock. Okay, depth of field in photography is the distance that is sharp around your focus point. It is not what's in focus. Your focus point is always in focus. It's the distance around that, in front and behind it, that is sharp. That is your depth of field. Knowing how to control depth of field can get you images like this, which shows a shallow depth of field. That means that not much distance in the picture is sharp. And then it can get you shots like this, which shows a long depth of field. And that means that a lot of distance in the image is sharp. Now there are three things that control depth of field in photography. The first being the aperture. Now a wide aperture such as f2.8 will give you a shallow depth of field as seen in this illustration here. The purple line is the focus point and that shaded area around it is the depth of field created by that aperture. So not much distance is sharp. Then if we go to f16, which is a smaller aperture, that's given you a longer depth of field. As you can see, the focus point is still the same, but the distance around that focus point that is sharp has changed. The next thing that controls depth of field is your focal length and it breaks down like this the more zoomed in you are the shallower the depth of field that you can get the more wide you are the more zoomed out you are wide angle the longer the depth of field that you can get and the third thing that controls depth of field is the distance of your focus point to your lens so if you've got something that's far away your focus point is far away you're going to get a longer depth of field whereas if your focus point is very close to your lens you can get a really shallow depth of field well that was just over two minutes just a few seconds over two minutes so that ain't bad i'm pleased with that i hope you've enjoyed it and i hope you got something out of it it was a very quick explanation but i hope it's helped you out if it did please support us here at the school of photography to do that all you do is subscribe to our channel like the video share them with your friends that really really helps us out and it enables us to bring you even more free tutorials also come over to our social media sites, Facebook and Instagram. We've got a really, really good learning community on there of learners of photography just like you. Thanks for watching and remember, learn more at the School of Photography.